Hello and welcome to Talk Motivation with your host, Elvis Eckhart, former pro athlete turned business owner, motivating you to achieve personal growth, form new habits, and find happiness in your career and life. Without further ado, let's jump right into today's episode. Hello everybody, believe it or not, but I am still Elvis Eckert and your host of Talk Motivation. I started the podcast when we first went into isolation here in the UK in April 2020 and really enjoy bringing episodes to you, which give you, well, hopefully some food for thought. Make sure to visit our website www.elvis-eckert.com slash podcast where you can subscribe to the show on Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts and other sources so you'll never miss a show. While you're at it, if you found value in the show, I'd appreciate a rating on iTunes, or if you'd simply tell a friend about the show, that would be appreciated too. Make sure to also follow my YouTube page. The channel name is Elvis Eckert Recruitment. All of the episodes are on there too. So welcome to episode 17, a very special episode to me. I had the privilege to speak to Ben Hallowell, a professional rugby league player for Lee Centurions, and a Scottish international. Ben is a model athlete and he is super authentic. His team, Lee Centurions, currently faces a lot of adversity as they were only notified that they will join the Bedfred Super League just under a month before the season actually started. All other teams had much more time to get their squads set up and train for the start of the league. They are currently bottom of the league with no points to their name. I have visited them on the training ground over the last couple of weeks at the LSV in Lee and can just say that the whole squad and the coaching team is doing a sensational job. Ben and I talk about how he got into rugby league in the first place, about what drives him, his motivation and of course about a lot of things random. Have fun listening to our interview now and let me know your thoughts through the social media channels. Welcome to the special edition of Talk Motivation. Why special edition? Because we have a very special guest today. His name is Ben Hallowell. Ben is a professional rugby player who currently plays for Lee Centurions in the Bedford Super League, and he also plays for the Scottish international team. Uh, you'll experience in a minute probably your first Scotsman with a deep Yorkshire accent, so <laughs> that'll be quite funny. Uh, some of you may know that my company sponsors Lee Centurions and part of that sponsorship uh, is a player sponsorship for Ben. Uh, so this makes the interview quite special for me to actually have a deeper conversation with him uh, rather than just when he's on the pitch or after. Uh, ben, welcome on the pod. Uh, very happy to have you. How are you doing today? And uh, could you let the viewers a little bit know about yourself? No, uh, you're all right. Um, yeah, I'm Ben Elliwell. I'm uh, from Yorkshire. <laughs> Uh, although I do play Scot uh, for Scotland at international level, um, I play for Lee Centurions and um, I've been playing rug professional rugby now for, uh, I think it's coming on 13 years now. Um, and yeah, um, I'd say it's, I've, I'm enjoying every, every little mi every minute of it. Um, like I say, it's, I'm enjoying it at Lee and I've been there for two years now and um, long may it continue. You came out of the Bradford Bulls Academy, didn't you? Uh, reading yeah. your Wikipedia entry, uh, I don't think you've ever played for the first team. Is it still on your no. bucket list towards the end of the career to actually play for I've them? Always, <coughs> I've always said that when I were, when, well, I've always said that. Uh, I've, I've always wanted to play for Bradford first team. I, I came through academy there and um, I think I was a bit too young and they, that's when they were in the, in the Super League and I don't think I was ready to get go to the first team um, or get a game for the first team. I played a few um, pre-season friendlies, but no Super League games for them. But um, yeah, I've I've always wanted to play for Bradford, and I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So yeah, I'm older, but like I'm, just, well, I don't I don't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I've always I've always put well. 
I support the team that I play for, but Bradford will always have a soft spot in my heart. Cool. Do you have another like favorite team like Warrington Wolves you've supported, or was it was it Wigan, or do you have a team back then? Uh, you can't really you can't support two teams at once, can you? <laughs> you have to be loyal, you, have, you have to stay loyal to one team. Yeah, I suppose. Exactly with my team. <laughs> Uh, how old were you when you started playing rugby? Well, uh, my dad used to coach my brother. He's three years older than me, and they were under seven. So I was four year old, four years old when I um, started going training with well, with my brother and his when he were under sevens. I think it were under nines then, but because he yeah. was too young as well. But I used to go training and watch him. When I got to the, I think I was like I was five, like a year later, and I, I ended up joining training and like passing ball with them. Yeah, trying to trying to tackle him, but they were <laughs> a bit older than me and bigger. So, yeah, I just have, it's been in my family for like my dad used to play, me, my granddad and my, my uncle right. used to play. So, I think it's in the family, and um, yeah, it's it's gone on from there. I suppose there's never been a question of rugby league or uh, the other rugby which is played down south. Which, which one's that? <laughs> Uh, rugby I mean, league or <laughs> oh, which which one? I don't know. Is it rugby union? Is it called? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I've, 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 I played rugby union for school, but I, it never interested me. I want, um, yeah, I think it was a bit too slow, and I wanted to be. Yeah, I get like a bit more fast pace. I think that's that suits me more. Yeah. Apart from from rugby, uh, is there another sport you enjoy watching or playing? Um, I like all sports. To be fair, I like watching football. Obviously, with Euros. Unfortunate to to not win it this year, but um, you mean now England or did, Scotland? Did better, did better than Germans, didn't we? Yeah, you did. <laughs> shut up. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I enjoy watching football. I like to say I enjoy watching more sports, but obviously rugby's rugby's my favourite. Yeah, I mean you're good at it, so it makes sense. Has there been a I coach? <laughs> I try. Yeah. Has there been a coach in your career which you found maybe harsh at the time because he kept keep kept kicking your ass, but he actually pushed you to come out of your comfort zone and actually made you better? Yeah, my dad. <laughs> yeah. Um, the story of our lives is the same. <laughs> um amateur. I used to have uh, when I played for dribbling to my amateur my amateur team, they had uh, my, my friend's dad and his uncle. They used to coach me, and they were just like ruthless. They want, they wanted to, yeah, wanted wanted us to beat the other team up, and they wanted to beat us up in training. But professionally, um, like obviously it's more technical now. The coach is more technical, but um, in prof when I when I since I've been playing professionally, I think I think John Duffy he's, he's the one who who like him more old school. He wanted to like. Um, like defense focused and wanted to yeah beat like not beat the other team up but do it aggressively like more aggressive yeah and he's he's, he's probably been the most um like aggressive coach or and he's, he's, he's a good people person as well but like like I says I've got I've, I've coached with I've been coached by a lot of fantastic coaches over, over my time professional brilliant do you have a do you have a role model a player uh you look up to <clears throat> um, when I was younger, I always looked up, up to like um, there were, I used to play fullback. You see, I'm not fullback now because I put a bit of yeah. bit, bit, bit of timber on. I'm not not fast <laughs> not fast fast enough to be a fullback now. Um, and we all <laughs> and um, I used to I used to look up to Chris Radlinski, who's played uh, uh, Wigan and Paul Wellens and Robbie Paul, who played for Bradford Bulls. Leslie Vinacolo. Yeah. There were there were plenty. I looked up to a few players and uh, and then Andy Farrell. I liked Andy Farrell. But now and um, now I think I, I looked I look up to I do I do look up to the, the, the players that are, that play my position. Yeah. Uh, like a back rower and the best ones in the world. Like I say, I, I come up against John Bateman of, of, against Wigan and he's, he's sensational. One of the best ones in the world. Yeah, he's one of the best ones in the world and I look up to them because I, that's my that's where I want to be. Now all the Lee fans they probably thought like why is Mickey Hyam not in there? <laughs> Mickey Higgin. 
<laughs> why is he not in the team? Yeah, no. Why, why, why is he not your idol? He's like, oh uh, yeah, everybody well, loves him here in the league. Well, I can't remember him playing. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm joking. Yeah, I used, well, I used to be at Warrington. He used to play at Warrington. Well, I, I were in academy, yeah. and he were he were first team. And um, yeah, I looked up to it because the amount of games he's played to play that many game games in Super League professionally, it's um, credit to him because yeah. um, I think he's he's over five hundred games now. And if you play five hundred games in your, in your career, you're a legend not only in the club but in the sport. Yeah, so yeah. it's it's really good to have him around training every day and like learning off him. Nice one. Was there a specific point uh, this season or last season? Actually, not last season because we're still in the uh, yeah. second division. But uh, where you actually knew you arrived in Super League as a player? What's that? What uh, was there like yeah. a specific point? Like was it your try in the first game against Wigan, or was it a specific tackle you received from somebody where you knew you're playing now was the best of the oh, best? Um, yeah, it was, it was the first game against against Wigan. Um, like I don't know if you came or but you you watched it on TV. We watched it on Sky. We were, yeah, we were we was eighteen six up I think, and. Um, we unfortunately lost that in second half and you realise you, you can play really well for 40 minutes, 60 minutes in a game, but once you make that one mistake in Super League, you can't get away with it. Sometimes in Championship, it's like um, you can get away with it sometimes, but once you're in, in Super League, yeah. coming up against the best players, some of them are the best players in the world, um, yeah. you make that one mistake and you get punished, punished for it and yeah. um, that's what Wigan did against us. And um, that's when I realised we're in Super League now. We need to compete at the highest level. Yeah, I suppose like this season has a bit of a challenging one, obviously because you had only two, three weeks to actually prepare for the season, while the others had near enough half a year to prepare for it. Yeah. And uh, you seem to have done very, very well uh, in the first half, but second half, first five, ten minutes, and near enough yeah. every game kind of broke your necks in the. Yeah. Does it come down to what does it come down to? Is it? Is it? Is it uh... I think it's. Um, I don't. I don't know. It's just. I think we're a team that likes. Um, we like to be on the front foot. Yeah. And uh, like I say, if we start off on the first half and we start well, start games well, and normally, so most, I think a lot of a lot of the games this year we've scored first. Yeah. And, I think we're. We like playing on the front foot, and when when our time comes, I think the momentum goes in. Yeah, and then that's when teams come back and yeah. come up against us, and like they come back against us, and uh, yeah, and, and we when when you're defending all the time in the middle, especially you're giving penalties where you you're defending all you you lose a lot of energy. Yeah, just want to and say then, it's not just like the the energy which which is in your in your body. It's like it's your mental energy. It's, it's yeah, it's brain. mental energy, and it's like it's because you could you could be the fittest person in the world, but it's yeah. it's game it's game fitness that you need. And like once you're defending all the time, you're getting up and down, and you're running back and forth, and you're giving penalties yeah. away. It does it does it does take a toll, and the other the other teams, like especially in Super League, these best better players, um, they capitalize on it. Yeah, yeah. Now, since you joined Lee, uh, I'm certain I have seen you on every team sheet of every game you played since. You you seem to be like ever going and never getting injured. Uh, oh. Have you actually experienced adversity throughout your career? Have you, have you had a terrible injury yet? Or? Um, fortunately enough, touch wood, and had like. The bad injuries, I like knee injuries. I've never, I've never had like bad knee, bad knee injuries or anything. I've, I broke my collarbone and dislocated my shoulder, um, stirred, cracked my sternum. But it's just like the little my hands, my hands are like chocolate. <laughs> I just break <laughs> my hands a lot. Um, yeah, so I, I haven't had many injuries, like bad injuries. To be fair, to, to sideline me for months at a time. Yeah, which, uh, but obviously, I, I have. The one or two niggly injuries um, during games, but um, it's, 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 I, I love to play, so I just have to try and play through it. Yeah, and, um, yeah, it's it is tough sometimes, but yeah, it's 
it's why it is sometimes a rugby. Yeah. <laughs> you have to play through that in them injuries. Ryan, Ryan Brearley injured himself recently quite Brilliant badly sleep, yeah. in the face. How is he? Have you yeah. seen him since the injury? Yeah. Yeah, he's been, yeah, he's been coming in training. Um is um I think he got poked he got poked in the eye and um I think I think he he, he thought it were something just something nothing like poke in the eye, yeah. You can't see blurred vision. Yeah. But uh, I think he's had a scan on his face. I think he's cracked or he's, he's, done, he's done damage in, like internally in his arm. I don't know if he needs he needs it to drain to have an operation. So yeah. I don't know the ins and outs of it yet. But um, yeah, it's, it's pretty pretty bad to be fair. Terrible. I don't know how long he's going to be out for. But, I hope um, he's, he'll be all right soon and we'll see him back in the league colours. Yeah. <laughs> Never well, know what, yeah, what's been... past the season. I think no, a lot of you guys been... have been in the... The news lately with with offers from other clubs as you yeah. do well like individually but as a team just need to probably get these two three two four points on this on the score sheet. Yeah, that's, then... that's 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 what you need. You need like say you play on momentum, and if once you get that first win, another one will come um, quick succession. So um, hopefully we just need that that first win. Ooh, it comes, hopefully it'll come this week against Wigan. Yeah, that will be the best. Local yeah, yeah, that's what we're asking for. But um, yeah, uh, hopefully we just, we just need that first win, come off the bottom of the table. Now the season has been quite challenging, I think, uh, for you guys especially. I know I've seen on social media a lot of trolling and stuff, and uh, you mm. can't just like you just have to get away from that because obviously you. I think you guys do a brilliant job, uh, but. How do you motivate yourself uh, in times of adversity like that, where you really was the back against the wall and uh, have to pull yeah. something out of the hat, really? Um, we, it is <laughs> tough sometimes when you're losing you know, week in week out. It's tough to to motivate yourself, but if you if you you're around positive people, yeah. Around, uh, which is we, we are a lot of people well everybody at Lee are positive and we we are, we we think that we, that that first one is going to come every week so if you have that mindset yeah it will come i mean and, as a sponsor uh, yeah. and getting involved more and more over the past weeks uh, i can confirm that i mean when i see you guys train uh, you you're all positive you want to get to win this game uh, you're all proud to wear the Lee colours and uh, yeah. you just kind of have to switch off from all these trolls and just like put your best performance in and uh, yeah. it will come. It's like, I always find a, a big thing is like, it's like attitude. And if you have the right attitude, it will come. It's like, with, yeah, exactly. especially within sports, I play myself professional football. I always find there's like a big gap sometimes between like uh, the efforts, the efforts some athletes put in and uh what's coming out at the end so you have like a lot of like very very talented people but uh mm. they are lazy as fuck yeah <laughs> but yeah. then again you have like uh also athletes who maybe not have the greatest talent but they put so much effort in that it actually comes out so i always think like when it comes to motivation you kind of have two choices you either lower your goals to match your efforts or you kind of raise your efforts to match your goals and uh, I feel yeah. you, you guys do the lateral really and uh, so it's just yeah. a matter of time until yeah but like like you said um, last year we, we were playing in championship played six six or seven games all year yeah. whereas all yeah. the Super League teams they, they played a full season in Super League and we knew we weren't going to be the we haven't we haven't got the best team in Super League but um we just put effort in. We we yeah. we need we need needed to put effort in, and we needed to train hard in pre-season. We need to train hard every week, just to match these these teams who have been playing week in week out last year. Yeah, and obviously we haven't got the win, but we just we, we need to we like that's that's what we need to do. We just need to keep going every week and try and match them. Yeah, exactly. Put the put the effort on the training ground and uh, develop yeah. as a team because obviously you guys you know each other. Most of them only for the past, say, six months, maybe, since the season started. So yeah. once once you know where everybody runs and, and the movement of everybody yeah. and uh, the ins and outs, yeah. uh, you can That's only it. train that on the training pitch, can you? And uh, That's it. That's it. We're, and we're, I feel like yeah. the, the rota of the season hasn't been great for you guys as well because, obviously, like, Lee always shows up and then 
uh, you have like the teams who obviously can't play because of the COVID, COVID thing. Yeah. And then you have like four weeks where you don't have a game where others play three games. And then it's yeah. like, you lose, you lose momentum, don't you as well? Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, yeah it's a lot of, a lot of these teams who were, who were, who were supposed to be playing, um, who were saying that they've got COVID, uh, they've got academies and we, yeah. we haven't got an academy and we're still scraping and scraping to get these um, players back from injury. And some 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 weeks we've got like sixteen fit players, fifteen fit players. Obviously, need seventeen to to um, field the team. Yeah. So, um, but it's not us who are, who are calling these games. It's the other teams. Yeah. So it, is, it is challenging. <clears throat> I mean, then you have like the teams like like Salford who uh, who recently won very very high. I think against <clears throat> one, was it against Castleford? Uh, yeah. Where Castleford puts out an under 19s team, really, and uh, yeah. it's just uh, it seems like everybody wants Lee out of the league, so you just have to push, push really the effort in again and get yeah, these points on the score sheet, and then just like show Super yeah. League that you're a deserving member of it. Yeah, well, that's, that's what it is. We <clears throat> it, it didn't help us. Um, we we can't rely on other teams to no. to win or or lose. It's, it's down to us to win them games and. We need to. I think we need five five wins to to stay up. Well, to stay up if there's relegation, but it's we can't rely on other teams to to be losing week in week out. We need to be winning. And we yeah, exactly. To, you have to play to your strengths and not to the weaknesses of the others, yeah. don't you? So it's like <clears throat> exactly yeah. Brilliant. Uh, yeah. Just just to wrap up, really, I have a couple of like short questions uh, just to find a little bit out more about yourself. Uh, which game do you consider? Uh, have been your best up to this point in your career? In my career? Yeah, so uh, far. Um, it's a tough one. I've, I've, I've <laughs> been, like I say, I've played in World Cups. I've played um, in, in, in European champions, like, not European, play, yeah, we played against uh, New Zealand at Scotland and we, we ended up drawing that game against the second best team in the world and yeah. that were a, that, that were a memorable game and when I played for London when we got promoted um, in the million pound game against Toronto yeah. one four two, not a try scored but it, I, I enjoyed the game at the end yeah. and my first game my first game in Super League for Lee against Wigan I enjoyed that as well because Brilliant. you won the cup as well didn't uh, you the second division cup which one like, who, uh, what I don't know. Wikipedia told me you you were in a cup final. Or, I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, I might think I did it in Featherstone, but I don't, I, yeah. I don't think I played that game. All right. I don't think I played that game. I think I was 18th man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, we have to yeah. talk to Wikipedia then. Uh, what's mm. what was the best stadium you've ever played in, or the best crowd? Best stadium. Um, I think. Head, I like. I liked. Head, well, I played at Wembley. <laughs> Sorry, oh, I played at Wembley for the first for, for Sheffield uh, eighteen ninety five cup, and obviously that's that's where everybody wants to play when the when the when the younger they always dream about playing at Wembley, and I got to do that, and I, and um, yeah, and we, and we we won as well, so I enjoyed that, and and Headingley they always bring a good crowd, um, they're always loud. On them, at the list uh, stand, so it's always good to play play against Leeds. Yeah, because obviously, yeah. obviously, it's their their supporters that are, that are loud, but yeah, it's, it's good atmosphere. Yeah, but, but the dream is to play first team for, for Bradford. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, if you could just listen to one song before the game, what what would be the song of your choice? Um, one song. I think um, I, I, I listened to a few to, to be fair before before games but I like um, oh, that DM, you know that DMX X, yeah. I won't give it to you I, yeah, I yeah, listen to that it hypes me up or nice. anything like, or like eight, anything 80s like Meatloaf or something well, it's, it's Kate my wife she absolutely yeah. loves 80s music she's <laughs> yeah <laughs> love she loves everything 80s yeah. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, so, and, and I'll, I'll listen to anything. 
before the game. So good. Uh, Justin Bieber as well. Or, yeah. I've heard lately yeah, from yeah. your from 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 some of your colleagues. <laughs> who, who, whoever says Justin. they don't like Justin Bieber, the lion, because everybody likes him. <laughs> everybody <laughs> likes him. Uh, ben, you've become a father this year. How has that changed you as yeah, a person, yeah. apart from not sleeping so much? It's changed me massively. It's um, as soon as she were, she was born, that were it changed. Um, the love, I, the love, I think the love I have for her is ridiculous. Um, it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah, and, um, changed like changed me as a person because um, we've got responsibilities now. Yeah, I've got some someone who I, I have to look after. But um, yeah, she's she's really good and she's like I say, I, I sleep. Yeah. At first, you lose you lose a lot of sleep, but I think she's she's doing well at the minute. She's six months now, so she's doing well. Crazy time flies. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Can you Seems like can can you remember the moment when you got your first Scotland call up? How 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 did you feel? So, I was in. Uh, I'd I'd been on a lads holiday <laughs> two weeks prior. And then I went on. A, then I came off. Came off that lads' holiday. Went on a stag do. Came off that and went on another another lads' holiday. <laughs> and then um, my phone were in um, in the safe in in my hotel room, and um, I got it out. And there was Steve Steve McCormack's number ringing. I said, "Oh, can you come and play for Scotland um, in France?" <laughs> so I came home from that lads' holiday the day after I was training. And then flew over to France, played played against France, and I did like uh, I got an interception try, went full length, and nice. cramped up in first first ten minutes, and then lads' holidays did catch up catch up on me. But that it was it was crazy thinking thinking back. I were only young, yeah. But um, to, to represent my family and my granddad playing for Scotland, yeah, they were, they were on it. yeah. I can. I, I played for the German beach soccer national team thirty times, and every time the German anthem played, it's like uh, yeah. just like start singing and being proud and think like, yeah. oh, what what privilege it is to actually do that. So I know. Yeah. I know. Well, I had to learn the Scottish national anthem first because I didn't. I didn't know it, but um, yeah, once like now is. It's more, it's, it's more the, the Yorkshire yeah. national team, isn't it? You're not the only one from Yorkshire who plays for Scotland. Yeah, well, <laughs> how many Scots? I think there's only one or two play, that, that are actually Scottish who play for Scotland team. <laughs> yeah, so like we, we get a few players coming out of woodwork in uh, big competitions in Australia. So um, right. yeah, it's grow, it's growing, it's growing in Scotland as well. So yeah. Uh, yeah, it is a brilliant also. sport to to watch. To be honest, it's always it's very quick, and uh, there's lots of tries, lots of scores. And uh, mm -hmm. what I always find is like, even though it's a quite aggressive sport, obviously, like the sportsmanship is amazing. Like uh, if somebody falls down, he gets picked yeah. up, and uh, <clears throat> it's not like football where we are all whizzes. As soon as you fall down, you yeah. cry, you turn, and yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, if, game. if there's if there's um, if there's a bit of um, Argue, if there's some arguments or a bit of pushing, shoving in in games or even in training, um, after a game you shake hands and you think no of it. No, yeah. it always it stays on the pitch and you don't you don't let it you don't let it go come off the pitch. But like like I say, there's it's all it's it's a game at the end of the day. That's uh, it's good sportsmanship and like. If you if you played for a few get teams like I have, I'd, I'd almost play on opposite teams. So yeah, <laughs> so you, you mates with most of them anyway. So brilliant. Uh, last question, really. Uh, where can we find you on social media? Um, Instagram, Facebook. We've got Twitter, but I don't really go on it. <laughs> <laughs> the best Twitter. It's like yeah, yeah. I don't really go on it. I just I don't really go on social media to be fair, but. Um, I'm too busy. <laughs> yeah, can't blame you. Can't blame you. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks so much for taking the time to speak to me, Ben. I know uh, we'll probably see each other at the game, uh, at your next home game, uh, <clears throat> yep. and have a, have a chat. Uh, 
wish you all the best. I'll keep my fingers crossed that these first two points will come yeah. sooner rather than later. Um, I'm quite sure it will happen. Uh, yeah, it will. The it's team is great. Lee Centurions, I think, is a deserved, deservedly in the in the Super League. I think it's a great club. Yeah. Uh, it's run by great people, and uh, now we just need to get these points on the score sheet and uh, get the fans to. <laughs> stop trolling yeah, and no. come come behind the team again yeah exactly yeah that's what we need just need positive positivity we'll get that win brilliant then ben thanks so much right. uh yeah thank you very much and thanks uh, for having me. you take care and we'll speak very soon you too see you thank you so much for listening to this episode of talk motivation with your host elvis eckhart to listen to this episode again and to find previous episodes, search Talk Motivation on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or Google Podcasts. Sayonara, muchachos!